Happy Thursday Thursday, Fish Keepers. Traditionally, Thursday is the day that we drink a lot of water doing water changes. Although I hope not to drink water today, it's possibly going to happen because you need a water change. And you need a water change, and you need a water change, and so do you. Not you anymore, because you're not there anymore. So we've got four or five water changes to get done in through the shop today. That is a priority, because I didn't do them last week. And I think the plants and the fish are suffering a little bit, so got to get them done today. We'll be continuing bringing this stuff out. There's some over here, there's some over there, there's some over everywhere. So we'll bring these bits and pieces out into the shop, getting ready for hopefully people to start coming in and saying, hey, I want that random bit of canister filter there. I've been looking for one of them. Here, yeah, three bucks. It's all yours, baby. You bought it! Should leave enough time to bring at least one, two, three, possibly a little bit of small three tanks more of fish out, which in turn will clear this racking set up. There's small ones like this, I'm not too sure what I'll do with just yet, because uh, obviously not sellable. So yeah, we'll, we'll work that one out. Uh, and this pier here, I can just move or hopefully entice someone to buy. So that would be this system all cleared out, which is looking good. Uh, I've still got these to bring out, lots of butterflies, and I think that's at about three here as well. So we're going to hold it off, and a tank full of odds and ends there. So hopefully we'll clear out most of these tanks today. Looks like there's some chili rice borer that I'm missing there. Yeah, hopefully we can clear out most of this today and then we can go from there. Time for today's algorithm engage. We're doing it nice and early on this one. This is where I ask you a question. You liked the video and if you haven't subscribed you do that as well because we're on the goal for 3,500 subscribers by the end of the week and we're nearly there. But by that's all the bad, 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 that doesn't matter. The question is here. We've got. Let's start that again. One, two, three. Compose yourself. It's time for today's algorithm engage. Yeah, this is where you like the video, and you answer a very simple question. We do this because you answering a question helps the YouTube algorithm throw this video to more people, which helps you more see the Fanatics Friday coffee date which is a great time. If you haven't watched the next Friday Coffee Day, check it out. It's in the podcast or the slash live section of the YouTube channel. It is worth it. It's where we talk to amazing people from around the world about aquariums and tropical fish. While you're at it, subscribe to the channel. Anyway, today's algorithm engagement is this. When eating chicken wings, are you a flats or a drums kind of person? I kind of go from one to the other. I don't mind me a flat, but I do enjoy the drum. Fun fact, my flatmate won't eat chicken wings when they're put together, but if I cut them in half for him, he'll eat them. Go figure. And if I cut them in half for him in front of them, he'll eat them, but if I put a full chicken wing in front of him for dinner, he won't touch them. Makes no freaking sense to me, but it is what it is. So, are you a flats or a drums kind of person? And if you're someone who is a vegetarian or a vegan, what is your alternative to that when it comes to chicken wings? Uh, I did veganism for a couple of months, um, I did try a few different ones, there are some chicken alternatives that are freaking delicious, there are some that taste like absolute butthole, don't ask me how I know how butthole tastes, it just is what it is. But anyway, let me know, do you prefer drums or do you prefer flats? I'm on the video, thank you very much. Once we get this rack cleared, well then I come along over here and hope to clear this one as well. Uh, some platies and a few mollies in here and some snails. So hopefully we can get all that cleared up. I can drain it. Uh, yeah, I'll drain it because I can put the filters into another tank. And that's ready to go for someone who could be or might not be interested in looking at it this weekend. Uh, yeah, so there's that. I think that'll probably do us for the day. But then we've got to continue draining through uh, the rest of the guppies, sword tails. Uh, and that is pretty much it as far as, oh, and these bad saves. 
and that is pretty much it when it comes to bringing fish into the shop emptying tanks so we're making pretty good progress there i actually thought oh, and the teachers over there i thought it was going to take a heck of a lot longer than what it did or would but it hasn't so that's cool um i guess once all the fish are out i can start actually taking the water out as well because i leave the water and there might be too more fish in there so we'll see how that goes and then we're just going to work through all of this stuff but i can't do that until we move that other big bad sav so yeah Anyway, I'm going to chop on. I've got some emails to check, some social media comments to reply to, and some freaking coffee to drink before we get into getting our hands wet again. The sun's not really out. The rain is definitely coming. It's 11 a.m. Sun's out. Let's do this. And all of a sudden, the shelves look full again with stuff. Uh, so, basically, I got most of the stuff out from out the back, but not all yet. So, anything from here alongwards, open to office, uh, fire away, ignore the pricing on some of these boxes, if you want it, give me a number, if we're happy, you got it, uh, I've got to get through these things, more random bits and bobs, uh, random filter bits, who knows, some of these bits of filter stuff might, oopsies, might actually work for what you need. I might not as well. There's random stuff there. Echo one. Heater suckers. Got them in droves. Random airlines, sponges, more filter bits. So I'm going to get through these one, two, three boxes. Sorry for the close ups there. One, two, three boxes. And then I'll start on the water changes in through the shop. Uh, same pretty much applies for this stuff as well. Throw an offer out there. You never know. You might get lucky. What's it saying? You're feeling lucky, punk. Pew, pew, pew. As it were. Anyway, here we go. Got sick of working through the random stuff. So these two boxes and three boxes, four boxes and different, five boxes. Anyway, boxes and stuff for longer. Start doing the draining. Uh, there's a one, there's a two, and the three, and the four. We'll fill them up. We'll have some lunch, and we'll continue working along. We'll probably get start getting some uh, fish out from out the back once we fill these up after lunch. I think probably. So while I was having lunch, managed to secure another guest for the Fanatics Friday coffee date. Pretty big one, pretty exciting one. Should be really cool. Haven't yet subscribed to the fish room, get amongst it. Do the subscribe thing, do that bell icon, whatever it is thing. I don't know what it is. But I, looking through the upcoming guests of the next two and a half, three months, there is some absolute gems coming up incredible wealth of knowledge some really cool people some really cool people doing interesting stuff for the industry and in the hobby definitely subscribe if you haven't yet nailed a couple of orders got them out cleared the board as much as we possibly could for the week only some orders come in for dry goods that is all the plants out the way for another week plant and accessory type stuff bring some fish in Half a dozen Congo Tetras, lights not playing very good. Adults, a couple of males and four females by the look of it, or maybe three and three. Pretty sure it's two and four. Uh, these came in from a local hobbyist who wanted to swap out the African cichlids. God bless his soul. I uh, also bought in some coolie lunches. Just put them in there, old mate's not overly happy. Literally just put them in there. A couple of zebra danios. And all the minnows from out to the back. Oops, there's Wonky Donkey. Missed one. But it's all come out soon. But yeah. We are chugging along with moving the fish from out the back to the front. Moving a few lemon tetras that we spawned here in the shop. And some pepper corridors. I have no idea what the new name of that is. So, Thomas, please timestamp what the name of these fish are. And let me know, and everybody else know. Uh, peppered corridors are something else, so I'm sure Tom will let us know what that is. That is the back rack, entirely clear, let's see the fish, they're too small to do, these guys. Uh, haven't done these guys. These guys, which I need to find a way home for, the pier. Too small, too small. Yeah, so that's where that's at, that is all entirely clear. Flicked off the lights, I mean the power. I mean the heaters to all of them except for the ones that still got fish in them. So that's basically done. We'll finish the rest off tomorrow. These guys will come out tomorrow. 
need to work out what I'm doing with all of these dwarf cichlids because I've got a few cleared that guy out hospital fish tank and then a couple of chili, three chili rice boar that need to be cleared out as well and then that, and these guys, and that guy, and these guys is that quarantine rack then completely cleared off and ready to go getting there Tetras come through, probably to that tomorrow. Get that rocking and rolling. Uh, have a fire lined up for the Shelleys. Still no interest in that. And still waiting for some confirmation on these other big fellas. And then, tomorrow I will do all the mollies, platties, guppies, and all that kind of stuff, depending on if there is room in the systems. And then we have to work through this and wait for people and waking on my own brain power and stuff like that so we're getting there